Today we are going to cover the anomaly fracture. I believe that anomalies are the seeds of transformation. So I want to give you a few examples. Samuel Rabar, the Iranian scientist, was studying hemoglobin and he was looking for new types of hemoglobin. One day he observes a strange kind of hemoglobin in a woman's blood. And when he researches further, he also notices that the woman is a diabetic patient. And he has, after investigating, he has discovered glycated hemoglobin or HbA1c which has transformed diabetes management because for the first time it gives doctors the ability to look at your sugar control for the prior three months. Alexander Fleming noticed that a spore from a mold was um, killing the bacteria in his petri dish. When he investigated further, he has uh, discovered penicillin and became the father of antibiotics. Marie Curie, one of my biggest inspiration in the world of science discovers radioactivity through anomaly. Michelson Morley's famous experiment where they set out to prove the existence of ether and they ended up proving that the speed of light is a constant which we didn't know prior to that which led Einstein to promulgate his famous special theory of relativity. Edward Jenner observed that the maids working with the cows contracted cowpox but somehow that prevented them from getting the deadlier smallpox which was an epidemic at that time. That led him to the invention of the process of vaccination and he did invent the smallpox vaccine. Lavoisier was studying uh, gunpowder and he noticed that when the gunpowder burns the weight the residue has a higher weight than the original material, which was contrary to the theory of the phlogiston, which was the existing theory, which said phlogiston leaves the material when it's burnt, so the weight has to reduce. Scientists started talking about negative weight and other absurd theories, but Lavois here investigates further and shows that the metals were forming oxides, and that's why they were heavier, and he shows the element oxygen and creates the elements theory and becomes the father of modern chemistry. So spotting anomaly is crucial. There's another kind of anomaly that I noticed. The example of that primary example is Art Frey in 3M. He notices a weak glue. A weak glue, glues are supposed to stick, strong, uh, stick well, right? So. A weak glue which doesn't stick properly is an anomaly in the glue world. But then he arbitrages that to the notes that he was putting in his Bible which were constantly falling off and led to the groundbreaking invention of the post-it notes. James Schlatter's aspartame, George D. Mestrel and his dog went out on a hunting expedition and when they come back, George notices that there are tiny seeds sticking to him as well as to the dog's fur. But he was able to just brush them off quickly even though they were sticking. He was curious. He looks at the seeds under a microscope and sees that there are tiny hooks in the seed which leads him to the invention of uh, Velcro. Roy Plunkett's Teflon, Roy Jens X-rays, Steve Jobs noticing the Anomaly of the beautiful hand calligraphed uh, signs in the Reed College campus, which later he arbitrages into the font system of the Macintosh. So, anomalies can trigger directly a transformation or an arbitrage which leads to a transformation. Now, at this point, if you are like me, you are wondering how does all this matter for digital transformation. I noticed that there is a third kind of anomaly which I decided to call challenge anomaly. This is a case where there is something routine happening but the innovator decides to challenge it. Isaac Newton, during his time, the popular theory was that objects fell towards the center of the universe. Now, the center of the universe is not likely on planet Earth. So, why aren't the apples falling this way or that way but why always straight down. That led him to the discovery of the laws of gravity. 
Tomoshige Hori in the Japanese uh, dairy products company Snow Brand attends some random conference and he learns about how you can pass a hot wire electric current through a hot wire and measure the thermal conductivity of liquids. He decides to experiment with that back in his firm where there is a lot of milk, right? He decides to test it with milk. One day he forgets to switch off the hot wire and goes home. When he comes back, he looks at the readings and he founds out that there was a spike in the temperature exactly at the point at which milk curdles. Now in Snowbrand and all the other cheese making companies at that point, there were expert cheese makers who will be constantly observing the milk as it's boiling to spot the exact point at which cheese, uh, the curdling of the milk happens. If you did it too soon or too late, you don't get high quality cheese. Tomoshige tries to convince Snowbrand that he can automate that process using this hot wire. It takes him 5-6 years to convince them, but over a period of time, the entire industry switches to Hori's hot wire technology. Charles Kettering challenges the idea that uh, why does the, it takes 35 days to paint the Cadillac? And he goes on and he finds lacquer paint which dries quickly, arbitrages that, creates the Duco paint which changes the automobile painting industry. Laszlo Biro questions the smudges and smears that we get from fountain pens and then invents the ballpoint pen. Barron's first ATM and the Gutenberg press we have already covered. I think in the challenge anomaly, the innovators take a routine occurrence, look at it from a different perspective and challenge it, usually using a new capability that they have developed. I think this is a crucially important for us in digital transformation. Now, I have been studying the field of, uh, so I want to give my own experience of using, finding an anomaly. The last 20 years or so, I have been working in the field of innovation. And uh, this book, Innovator's Dilemma, is kind of like a gospel or a bible of the innovation world. Recently, few years ago, I started studying the book again and I was noticing this th thing that um, Christensen has talked about called performance oversupply. That is, there is a point in a product's life cycle where it's capabilities advance far higher than the customer needs creating performance oversupply. At that point it becomes susceptible to disruption. Now I gave you several examples of inventions and discoveries. I read a lot of books and I went look at my own experience working in many industries. This idea that service or product performance increases customer needs seems to be very very rare. Which means disruption is not the force we should go after because it seems very, very rare. That led me to the idea that we have to go after performance under supply, which is the opposing concept of performance over supply. With the advent of digital technology, which are rapidly advancing, the existing systems and processes have been kind of left behind. So there is a huge performance under supply or performance gap that we can used to do digital transformation and this led me to create many tools uh, which are part of our um, digital transformation framework. I have several more examples of anomaly which have many of them have become part of our digital transformation framework. So I think the idea that anomalies can be seeds of transformation is a crucial learning from this episode and I think we should start practicing this and learning this as a fractal skill. In the digital world, you, you can say that uh, Uber challenged the existing taxi industry. Steve Jobs' iPod was also a challenge to the existing music industry's notion of CDs and cassettes. Right? He uh, challenged that and created an uh, innovation out of that. My recent favorite example is Nina Mountain work at uh, the NHS where she has saved over a billion dollars for NHS and she has used the technique of spotting anomalies. She looks at um, outlier cases of where people have misused NHS funds and that has led her to these massive savings. I am going to provide a link 
to her work a uh, short video of her work right at the end of this episode please do watch it it's hugely inspiring with that i thank you all for listening to my coverage of the anomaly fractal and i am sure you will agree that anomalies have the seeds of transformation within them